clearly is a very serious epidemic, but equally the fact that actually the great majority of people will not die from this. And I'll just repeat something I said right at the beginning because I think it's worth reinforcing. Most people, are, well, a significant proportion of people will not get this virus at all at any point in the epidemic, which is going to go on for a long period of time. Of those who do, some of them will get the virus without even knowing it. They will have the virus with no symptoms at all, asymptomatic carriage, and we know that happens. Of those who get symptoms, the great majority, probably 80%, will have a mod mild or moderate disease, might be bad enough for them to have to go bed to bed for a few days, not bad enough for them to have to go to the doctor. An unfortunate minority will have to go as far as hospital, but the majority of those will just need oxygen and will then leave hospital, and then a minority of those will end up having to go to severe uh, and critical care, and some of those, sadly, will die. But that's a minority. It's 1% it's or possibly even less than 1% overall. And even in the highest risk group, uh, this is significantly less than 20%, i.e. the great majority of people, even the very highest groups, if they catch this virus, will not die. And I really wanted to make that point really clearly. Do you know, for example, now how many people in the country have recovered from the virus and are now perfectly healthy again, such as the Prime Minister, for example? Well, we, we, have, we have data, obviously you don't know everybody for the reasons Chris has said, because a large number of people have been asymptomatic or haven't gone to the doctor, but we do have recovery rates, they are available, and I see absolutely no reason why they shouldn't be made available. Yes, we certainly have hospital recovery yes, rates. Yes, so we have, we have, in a sense what we have, and this is where I wouldn't want people to overread them, but it's important, they're perfectly open data actually, it's perfectly possible to get hold of them if, we, if people want, uh, is we have data on the people who got as far as hospital, how many of those left hospital. But of course, they're at the very severe end of the spectrum. All the ones I was talking about before that point, they make a full recovery, they don't enter the statistics. Now, they increasingly will enter the statistics now that we have uh, a better testing capacity that means that we're picking out more of the milder cases in the community. But I think what, you know, if, if people look at those, to go back to your point, what I wouldn't want is for people then to say, oh, well, that's, uh, an, the, the mortality rate is higher than I expected. That's because the, the, the recovery rates we have are for people who are severe enough to get to hospital. And that's, uh, in, even so, that is a majority. So it is important that the sense is read in that context. Thanks very much, Tom.